everybody, how's it going? It's Jamie the Crafty DIY Guy. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going shopping, so come with me. We are going to Dollar Tree Plus. I'm so excited. And of course, before we get on the road, I want to say thank you to my subscribers. You guys know who you are, my long-termers, my short-termers, my newbies. I appreciate you guys so, so much for being here. Thank you so much. Honestly, it has been an absolute pleasure. Also, if you are brand new to the channel, maybe you'll like it. Maybe you'll stick around and become a subscriber. I hope so. But uh, if not, hopefully you'll enjoy this video because we're going shopping. Put the top down. All right, everyone, we are here at my Dollar Tree. This is my absolute favorite store. This is the one I shop at almost all the time. This is where I get all my major haul items from. And when I was in there recently, they were setting up for the new Dollar Tree Plus section. So let's go inside and take a look and see what they've got. Now, the first section I walked into was the home decor section, and I absolutely fell in love with these $5 topiaries. I thought that this part was really, really cool. There's a large assortment of toys and clothing. They had some leggings and some t-shirts. They had a really cool electronic section. I loved these pet beds. I almost grabbed one for Mr. Otis, but knowing him, he wouldn't want it. They had some really cool bedding and blankets and just some really cool organizational bins. I really loved these bins here, and I also loved those stools that you see right next to them. I thought that some of their home decor stuff looked like it maybe would have been a little more Dollar Tree friendly versus, you know, the $3 price point. I loved this craft section, the sketchbooks they had. They had markers and pencils. These canvases were 16 by 20 stretched canvases for $3. And then what I also liked is that they had all of these name brand cleaning supplies in the larger sizes as well as larger bundles of toilet paper. Check out the kitchen section. They had some incredible large bamboo cutting boards. These were $5.00. And again, super, super fell in love with those. Check out these rugs. They had not only welcome mats and small like little pieces of uh, kind of like remnant rugs, I guess. But this one in particular grabbed my eye. It was 24 by 36 and it was $5. Now, I didn't have a need for either one of these, so I didn't buy those. But again, such a good deal. And the welcome mats they had sketchbooks and pencils and these like little notebooks i fell in love with those and especially loved the unicorn one again so many cute notebooks so many great things i loved this one so so much i love spiral notebooks and didn't actually buy any believe it or not if you're looking for comfy clothes, they had some leggings, they had some t-shirts that people had already shopped through. I think I'm going to grab this one and straighten it up for my friends here at the Dollar Tree because these are my buddies and of course I got to take care of them. Now, I sped home and it is time to share my haul with all of you. Okay, everyone, I am back from Dollar Tree and I wanted to show you everything that I bought from Dollar Tree and Dollar Tree Plus. Again, uh, Dollar Tree Plus is the aisle or a couple aisles, at least in my store, it was two aisles that are items made up of $3 and $5 price points. The rest of the store, like 90% of the store is all Dollar Tree. So don't worry about it. It is a beautiful thing. It is optional. They're not making you buy anything. Although I have to say my credit card was like, what are you doing? Because I literally found so many great things that I can't wait to show you about. So I'm gonna show you the Dollar Tree stuff first and then I'll show you the Dollar Tree Plus stuff. So let's get into it. All right, the first thing I found and I thought that these would be perfect for entertaining. These were the dollar side. These were dollar, Dollar Tree. These cute little like water containers with the spigots. Again, I grabbed two of them because I was thinking like for an outdoor party or outdoor entertaining, how cute could these be if you put mixers in these? Maybe you put some juice in them and uh, I don't know, um, not, not like a seltzer or anything, but 
let's say I, I don't even drink enough to really know what uh, what kind of mixers you could put in these. Definitely juices. We'll just say juices. And, um, you know, they're even cute that they could stack on each other. You could even just put water in them and keep them at your desk, at your wa at your at your office, at your office. <laughs> and uh, again, super, super cute. Something that could be very, very easy to um, have some fun with. And they had them in some great summer colors too. They had yellow, they had purple, they had green. I think they had a red one. So certainly fun. Now, keeping with my blue theme, because you know, I love blue they had these buckets and they're kind of like insulated. They're not like a Tervis tumbler, you know, or anything like that. But what I loved about it is the size of it. This would easily hold two bottles, if not three bottles of wine. So think about that too, right? You're outdoor on the deck in the back, you wanna put some wine, maybe just some sparkling cider, or excuse me, or burp in the middle of your talking, um, or some champagne. <laughs> you could do anything in here. And again, super, super fun. Maybe some rosé. And uh, I think that this is great. And they only had it in this blue color, which, you know, I certainly wasn't mad at. Um, the other thing I grabbed, and um, it kind of goes with the blue theme there, is these. And I love these containers. I've seen these several different times at Dollar Tree. And um, I always think about them and then I never go back to grab them. And then this time I did grab them, but uh, I bought two of them. And again, something that's super easy and fun to use for a lot of different ways. You could spray paint this with like a galvanized metal spray paint and it would look like an old galvanized tin tub. You could fill it with rocks and succulents or plants. I think that you could definitely fill these with ice and put them maybe some water. I don't think that, you know, it's not going to hold the ice forever. Of course, the ice is going to melt. But again, if you had maybe some of those smaller water bottles or something, you could put those in there. Something fun for soft drinks, even bottled water. I think that there's a lot of really cool options for those in particular. I even think it'd be cute to make a little fountain or something. That's probably the water that you're hearing too in the background here. So uh, if you are hearing it, don't worry, I don't have a water leak. I really have a fountain. And I'll show you the fountain too at the end of this because it's it's brand new. And um, okay, they had uh, these cute frames that were at Dollar Tree also um, that had this little um, kind of uh, thing on the front. If you've seen the drawers, the three stack drawers that they have that have that same little, um, you know, front piece thing. Somebody tell me what it is. Um, I bought four of them because I thought that they'd be really cute for a lantern idea. But then I also thought that maybe I'll just put some family pictures in them and put them up in the house. So again, super, super cute, super versatile. I love that they're almost that unfinished wood because I know that they'll take a stain or at least an antiquing wax really, really good. Um, all right, we talked about our cocktails and stuff earlier and they have these cute little cookbooks and they had one that was mocktails and cocktails, so cute. And the other thing that I love about a cookbook are pictures, and there are some really fun photographs in here. And what's great about these is that these are mocktails and cocktails. So if you don't want alcohol and you still want to have a fun drink, you can do that with this. Um, I need to start watching my weight better and losing some weight, and I'm going to start working um, and doing a keto diet. And um, they had a keto cookbook, again, super simple, great pictures. Look at that, wow, I just saw like an avocado in an egg thing. That looked good, where is that picture? Um, oh, there it is, yummy, look at that. So if I can eat like that every day, I think I'd be okay. And um, again, just a great little cookbook, great for stocking stuffers too, if you see these now, save them. My grandmother used to shop all year round for Christmas time. That's why I'm a spoiled brat. And um, another cookbook they had were the air fryer made simple. And I do have an air fryer and I love it. And they have all kinds of great things in here. Again, great pictures, but I really liked some of the recipes that were in here. Um, a whole chicken, what? Apparently you can do a whole chicken in an air fryer. My air fryer is not that big, but um, the other thing I grabbed were these little magnetic tins, these two packs. Um, you may remember from my last haul, I grabbed some that were a little bit larger and uh, those are super cool. Um, and these combined with that. And then I was trying to think of like a way to hang it up in my craft room, 
because um, I don't really have a lot of wall space left. And I thought that I could take this sheet pan, this cookie sheet and stick these to those. And thank God they worked. And, um, uh, I don't know, maybe even mount it this way to where this is the, you know, the other side. Will it work? We'll see. And, uh, you know, keep my, my beads and thumbtacks and nails and different stuff like that that you need kind of on hand just to, to keep them really close and uh, close by. And I, I may even try and cut out the rim. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, the other thing I grabbed from Dollar Tree was some sand. Summer's coming. A lot of summer DIYs are coming. I have a couple summer DIY ideas and I needed sand. So um, I grabbed a bag of sand. Now, everything else I'm going to show you is actually from Dollar Tree Plus. So let's uh, get into that because this is fun. Okay. First thing I grabbed uh, was not the first thing I grabbed. It's actually the last thing I grabbed because I didn't see these colors until I was on my way out. Check it out. How massive is that thing? It was $5. It's $5. It's got the handles on the top. The plastic is, you know, it's not super hard plastic, but it's still, I feel like it's going to be pretty sturdy. And uh, what I'm doing with these is I'm putting these on top of my storage uh, cabinets that I have in my craft room. And uh, these will hold my Dollar Tree hauls. So when I go and I shop and I maybe don't put stuff away right away, instead of it sitting on the floor, I'm gonna put these, put them in these bins and put them on top of the storage units that I have. And uh, they will be great. And I, I did end up grabbing two of those because here's the other one. And it's filled with more stuff because I didn't want a whole bunch of bags. And, um, you know, I got some, got some, some haters from the last one. That's okay. I, I reuse all my, my plastic bags and, uh, but I thought, why not just put it in these? And then I literally just put them in the back of the convertible and uh, <laughs> just, uh, came home. So it actually worked out really well. All right. Um, we'll start back here. Great cutting board. Great cutting board. It's thin. I would say it's probably a little bit thicker than the small, you know, bamboo cutting board that they have at Dollar Tree. That's probably about like that size. This was five bucks. Again, super, super cute. Thinking of a DIY possibly with it, but um, also thinking I need it in my kitchen. So I might just do that and just keep it in the kitchen. The other thing that I grabbed that was also, well, we don't show that quite yet. The other thing I grabbed, this was $5 as well. This is a portable fan. But what I loved about this fan is that it is not battery operated. It actually charges with a USB cable and it includes a USB port or a USB cable. So I can sit at my desk and plug this in right into my USB on my computer and have a fan sitting on my desk or on my craft room or anywhere that I think I need a fan. And because this is rechargeable, I can also charge it up and then take it with me wherever I need it to be. So it's wireless and it's chargeable. You can see that. And again, five bucks, come on. That was super cool. The other thing I grabbed that I thought were cool were some Marvel branded face masks. Um, these were $5 as well. And uh, they are, there's Captain America, there's the Hulk, and uh, there's, a, I forget who this one is, but uh, you know, $5, these were the adult size. They had some super cute Disney ones. They had some kids masks. They had some um, different prints and different characters and stuff. And again, I don't think this unfortunately is going away anytime soon. So um, I have no problem with wearing them and keeping other people protected. The other thing that I found were these, um, they're like the ear pods from Apple, um, but they were $5. Check it out. It comes with the rechargeable case and everything. And with these, like I could take these to the beach instead of the $200 ones that I got from Apple. They were a gift, I didn't buy them. They were actually a, a company gift. But again, super, super cute. And I think I think the mail truck is getting ready to come. So you might hear some noise here in a minute. Um, the other thing that I grabbed were two of these wood discs. I thought that they would be great 
for a clock. They were $5, so you could drill a hole in them. And I'm also thinking of another idea that I'll share with you in just a minute. So again, I did buy two of those. Um, the other thing I grabbed that I thought was super cute was this wooden frame. But it's not just a wooden frame. It's actually a wooden frame box. So think about it. You could hang that on the wall. You could keep little keepsakes back there. I think this would be really, really cute because this happens to be the same size as this. All right, here comes the mail truck. So it's gonna get, you're gonna hear it in the background for just a minute. But like, let's say you put, um, you know, your kid's artwork in here or in the framed part of it anyway. And then you decide that you don't, well, you gotta swap it out, but you don't wanna throw it away. You can put it in there too. So again, thought that that was super, super cute. I'm gonna pause for just a second until the mail truck comes back and then I will be right back. All right, he's gone. His truck's a little loud. So um, the other thing that I grabbed, of course, was another tub. Um, that's where I've been pulling everything out. The last thing that I pulled out of the tub was this. Now you've seen the smaller versions of these at Dollar Tree in the Crafter Square section, but this one has a dry erase board on this side and a chalkboard on that side. So again, super, super cute. Uh, the price tag is in there. It was $5 and uh, I love it, especially for an office or to remind me that I have a collaboration coming up or have a cricket video due or whatever else is due in my life. Um, you know, pay your bills, like anything like that is gonna be in there. And then I showed you that already. I so wish I would have grabbed four of these, but um, I thought about it on the way out and I should have walked back in. All right, I'm not done. Um, these, how cute are these little adorable topiaries? Um, these were $5 each and the base is kind of like a, not a concrete, but it's definitely heavy, uh, probably a ceramic. Um, it has those little rock details in it. I love the boxwood. The only thing I probably don't really dig on is the green here. I wish that was brown, but I mean, come on. And these are going to be so cute on the fireplace. I'm super excited. I have been wanting a pair of matching topiaries on either side of the fireplace for the longest time. And I even thought about buying two of them and like pulling this stick out and putting it on top of it. But I think what I'm gonna do instead is I have some other boxwood uh, balls. So I think I'm just gonna try and add to this one, maybe. All right. This is the other thing, another thing that I grabbed. I've got a few more things, but this is a stool. And uh, at first I thought it was, you know, a plant stand, but it's a stackable stool. It was $5. They had them in so many different colors and they were super, super cute. But I was thinking when I saw the black one, I was like, that looks really cool and kind of industrial and, you know, it certainly could be a plant stand. I mean, it's the perfect size. Um, I actually grabbed one that was dented and bented, bented and dented. It just made something up there. And, uh, and then my other stuff just fell down. Okay, we're doing all kinds of bloopers here live for you. Um, but that's okay because uh, I could take it back. They would exchange it for me, I know, but I'm not gonna worry about it because what I thought about doing while I was in the store was taking this, taking this, it was also five dollars and there goes some dogs uh staining this a really dark wood and then screwing it on top of here and i would have a really all right we may have to hang out for just a second here because we got some dogs that are barking and they end up doing this all over again inside but anyway i'm almost done so we'll, we'll let the dogs go but uh, again, that could be really cute as a stool itself. And it would kind of give it a cool, you know, industrial kind of a vibe, I feel like. I think it would be really nice. Um, the other thing I grabbed was this welcome mat. How cute is that? Perfect for the front porch. I needed a new one. And uh, this one again was, I think it was $5. Yep, five bucks. How cute is that? It's like a rattanish, you know, stuff here. And then with the black lattice, again, super, super cute. Loved it. And then the last thing I grabbed, and I grabbed a couple of these for friends too. Um, I have a great friend named Evo. She's an artist and she does amazing, beautiful work. And um, she loves to paint. And they had stretched canvas on wood 
like that's a wood frame. 16 by 20 for three dollars so i grabbed four for her at her request and then i grabbed three for myself for an art project that i want to try with some alcohol ink so that is the haul um i think that's everything yeah that's the haul um sorry for the dogs in the back and barking and all that but that's all it happens you know i'm out here on the porch it's a beautiful day outside and uh i will let you guys go i hope that you find your Dollar Tree Plus store uh, locally. Um, they don't really advertise them, so just kind of keep checking. Maybe even call around to some of the stores. Mail truck's coming back through, so I'm gonna say goodbye. And uh, I will chat with you guys later. All right.